three-year-old to a four-year-old who was so full of life until she got sick. Mom and dad, who live in Garland, thought that she had a cold last Sunday. That's how it started. By Tuesday, she was in the ER, and then by Thursday this week, she was gone. She rushed to the ER. She had pneumonia. They said by the time they got her, her lungs were so full of pneumonia, and she ended up passing. Martel Greenwich's heart is broken. His four-year-old died just days ago from the flu. She wasn't even running fever at this time. We just knew she was she, she was very sluggish and she wasn't eating. And but like I said, that cough it was a dry cough, and then she starts spitting and spitting. My wife says she's seen like a little discharge of mucus, a little brownish color. If you see any of those signs, you stop what you're doing. I don't care if you're at work and your other spouse calls you, you go to the emergency room ASAP and you let them check for pneumonia. And now he hopes his pain will at least help save even one life. Think about my baby. That, that tear me, that tear me down, man. That's what I was living for. I told her I wasn't going to let nothing bad happen to her, man. I used to preach that to her every single day. That daddy going to be there. Daddy going to be there. But now I'm sitting here on camera letting you know I wasn't there. I didn't even know. I didn't know that she had pneumonia. I didn't know that you can get pneumonia from the flu. It ain't nothing to play with. You know what I'm saying? And and, and because of it, I, I lost the angel. I mean, that girl was beautiful. She was smart, intelligent. She was my world. And again, they thought she just had a cold last Sunday. Ashanti, by the way, is the seventh flu-related death in Dallas County this flu season, as well as the fourth pediatric death we know about in the state. Health authorities are required by law to report all pediatric flu deaths.